Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a short demo of my Raspberry Pi based home theater system. Uh, shortly after taking that video, I decided to redesign the entire user interface yet again. Uh, so, I've gotten this almost complete. I thought it was time to do another demo here. So, you can see right here is the list of movies that I have ripped to my external hard drive. Uh, and it imports all of this data off of IMDb. And you can see as you scroll over a video, it pulls it up over here on the side. Uh, and you get the synopsis and all of that information uh, gets pulled in. And if I click one there, it'll start playing. Now, you may have just heard relays clicking as the projector and stereo turn on and it's going to give them a couple seconds to warm up and you can see it starts playing and I chose this video because it's in a format that I know works with some of these other features um, so you can see it pulls up the play control here um, I'm adjusting the volume right now I also have subtitles, seek, jump uh, pause, stop, and next and previous episode for uh, television series. Um, television link over here. You get all the episodes. YouTube. And these subscriptions are updated every night um, with a cron job, or you can do that manually. It's a bit torrent tracker, or not tracker, client. So you can see the downloads there, it gives you all the stats of that. Uh, and you can paste a magnet link in there, and it will start downloading it. We have a live stream that synchronizes with whatever's playing. Uh, and that just uses a plain HTML5 video tag. And finally, we have the settings page. Uh, so you can see here we have controls for the stereo projector and lamp, which is not currently, the hardware is not currently connected. Um, we have a toggle for the HDMI switch. Uh, so you can flip through the different inputs on that. Scan for new media, uh, as it implies, scans for any new files on the external hard drive. Uh, you Refresh YouTube updates the subscriptions. You can upload a file to play it directly, or you can play a remote file directly. So, see if I go over here and copy the link to the video, paste it right in that box, and click play, and it will this switch the video. And then I can stop that. Um, and we'll show this load error section is for when you scan for new media. Um, any file that it's not able to find or it gets multiple search results, it'll put into here along with the error message. And you can go into that and type in either the name or the IMDB ID. Hard to type with one hand here. Uh, and you can just select whatever result there or you can go into manual entry and enter all the data in there um, so I'm looking I haven't added music yet I'd like to add music and set up a um, some kind of streaming server or media server so I can put all of my music from there and access it all wirelessly on any of my other devices um, and then I'm Considering releasing all of this code under some sort of open source GPL or something, um, but it's going to take some time to go through and refactor the code a little bit, uh, so that's not really a priority right now, but if you'd like to look at it, leave a comment in the video, and I will get to that a little bit quicker. So, thanks for watching.